The Adventures of Jungle Jim. A complete radio episode based on the characters and action pictures of the same name that appear every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. Led by Jim and Colonel Sing Lee of the Chinese Army, a bold, hand-picked band of United Nations soldiers arrive off the coast of Jap-held Malaya. Only a past master of jungle lore like Jim could hope to accomplish their mission, which is to reconnoiter and harass the enemy in every way possible. But their troubles have begun even before they reach the mainland, for the Australian submarine which brought them to the appointed rendezvous is the target of Japanese depth bombs. Inside the sub, with all engines cut off and sound of any kind a threat to their very lives, all is silent. Beads of cold sweat glisten as they helplessly regard one another. The Japs seem to be much further away. How quickly, my friends, this way. What gives, Singh? The commander does not dare to stop us as we had planned. I can't say I blame him. How are we going to get out of here if he doesn't? Uh, You will see, Sergeant. Here. In here. The compression chamber? Come. Hey, what the... Quiet, Parker. Excuse me, Nelson. Uh, This, as you see, is a core lapsable rubber raft. What's been bow for, Singley? It's a compressed air gadget, Colo. I imagine it's got some food and weapons in it. Your imagination is most accurate, Jim. Well, what's the catch? What goes? We do, Matt. One by one. Huh? How? Through the escape chamber. Is it big enough to take that barrel, Singh? That the barrel was designed so it would be. Akolo, if I may suggest... Okay, okay. Me been first. After raft and barrel. You, you mean we... We crawl through that thing? That yep, you... just pretend you're at Coney Island, Mac. Kind of wish I was. <laughs> if you please, Parker. The raft. Uh, watch this, Mac. You get in there where the raft is. They close the door. Turn on the air pressure. Open the sea door and the raft is on its way. And now, the barrel. What do we do? Simple. Just hold breath. When I get to the surface? Oh, by the time you get there, Colo and I will have the raft ready. Now, Sam Colo. I go. Ooh, suddenly, Colo have too many arms and legs to run. Now, you'll be all right. And I'll be right with you. I just hope that Jap destroyer don't take it into its head to come back. Uh, Commander Bailey is at the passport to warn us if he does. Well, here goes. Yeah, I'm beginning to see what Cole meant about too many arms and legs. Uh, Mark and I will follow directly, Jim. Right. Okay, Parker, close her up. <laughs> Cole. Here's one. To left. Help me with that. Wait, light. Okay. Got your end? Already. Make sure it's fast now. This ends up. Oh, what? what? Look behind you, Cole. A searchlight, and it's sweeping this way. We'll see what that searchlight means in just a moment. Right now, I'd like to give you a password. A phrase that admits you to never-failing entertainment. That phrase is the Comic Weekly. Yes, 15 million readers know that the exciting pages of the Comic Weekly contain more than two dozen of your favorite features. Features that make Sunday morning adventure time. These vividly illustrated, thrillingly told picture stories are your passport to a world of action with a capital A. They stimulate your imagination, tickle your sense of humor, bring you wholesome entertainment week in, week out. That's why the Comic Weekly is America's favorite funnies. That's why 15 of the nation's great Sunday papers are proud to distribute it. And that's why it finds a welcome in six million homes each week. Ask your dealer for it yourself this Sunday. Look for the figure of Puck and the name The Comic Weekly at the top of the front page. It's your password to exciting fun. 
Now back to this week's radio adventure with Jungle Jim. Let me give you a hand, Mac. Okay. Searchlight. Sweeping back this way, Twan. On the floor of that raft, Colo, like Sing Lee. Hey, look up there to the right. You see it? A signal light. It's a searchlight. It is on. Yeah, the destroyer must have signaled to the cruiser it was on. Let's go, Colo. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Starboard means to the right, Mac. You're going left. Are you sure? I never can keep that stuff straight. Also, I do not be so ambitious. Slow but steady, Mac. Together now. Well, say we get there in one piece, see? What then? Now our friends will meet us at a certain fringe of Casualino trees. Casualinos? Boy, well, along the beach then, huh? Yes. A spot we agreed upon before I left to fetch you. We? Oh, yes. Our danger will be shared by good company. How many, Singh? Uh, twelve altogether. Only twelve? Mm, numbers are only a handicap in guerrilla fighting, Mac. But the twelve had better be good, Singh. I am aware of that. And so is headquarters. Uh, some of them you will remember from Bradley's Raiders. Uh, Monsieur Kolenko. Monsieur. Monsieur been waiting. Row faster, Mac. Yes, Monsieur. And uh, my young nephew, Tom Sand. I remember him, Singh. Give him a rifle, he'll bring down a parakeet at 500 yards. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, almost, there you are. Colo, turn around. You can see the shore from here. Tanamalaya. Roma Salamania Peak. What's that? Home is always good. <laughs> Roll, Mac. Uh, help me to get the supplies from this barrel, Jim. Uh, sure, Singh. Oh, uh, here, we need something to loosen the set screws of this end. I wanted the plates in my pocket. Uh, birds, you waking up, Twan Jim. Soon cuts daylight. You sure we're going right, Singh? We must have passed a dozen fringes of these casserina trees. Uh, the one we see has a fallen tree at the east end. Uh, let me take the Tommy gun, Mac. You must be getting tired. I won't argue, Jim. Uh, what happened when Japs find place we sunk craft? Oh, we will be miles from here by Zancoro. And a heavy going on the sand. Hey, wait. Did you hear that? So what? Another bird woke up. There wasn't any bird I ever heard here in Malaya. You catch right, Twan Jim. Us answer? Go ahead, Colo. John Misha! Misha! Twan Jim and Colo! Misha, not sound far off. Oh, we must reach those trees. Fine kind of welcome. Misha's in trouble, Singh. Good thing it's no lighter. It soon will be. Ouch, ouch. Now what? Something bit my hand under the... <laughs> Maki ben catch sand that one. The trees are nearer. You keep crawling. Just over this rise here. Try another bird called Colo. Oh, do me a favor, Colo. No <laughs> more sound effects. <laughs> Shots are coming from those trees, all right, Singh. Man so big like Misha make plenty good target for somebody. Don't look now, you guys, but it's getting lighter by the minute. Uh, this sun dune should hide us from the trees. Depends on how near that sniper is. Uh, if him see us in daylight, us see him too. I'll settle for the dark, just the same. Oh, pipe down, Mac. There's somebody edging over this way. You hear him too, Twan? No, Colonel, I just feel I'm getting closer. <laughs> Let's go, both of you. Hey, hey, it's all right, man. Shot. The shrimp goes after the shark. Yeah, poor brother. The way you landed on me, you felt more like a whale. <laughs> this is Sergeant McGovern, Monsieur. And man, don't tell me. Let me guess. How are you, Monsieur? Better now. Never was a night so long. Well, what has happened, Monsieur? First, I got to tell Jim and Colo how glad uh, I am. Now, please. Later, what has happened? Well, we are expecting you any time after midnight, Sink. No? Go on. So, we are posting guards. 
I personally am watching shoreline from trees up ahead. Comes maybe two o'clock. I hear boat going by river. How big a boat, monsieur? Not big. He's got three men into it. This I'm finding out later. I think he's maybe my friends. You fellas, see? Uh, what were they, chaps? Yeah. One of them has machine gun. This one young Tommy's son is shooting before we separate. Where is Tom's son now? Uh, I am not knowing, simply. Or where is the second Jap? The third one is chasing me to this end of trees. I'm here ever since with empty gun. So, what for Jap soldiers been in Riverboat? Yet, Colonel, not soldiers. Sailors, Jap sailors. You fanned out when they started chasing you? What else? So the rest of our men are still among these trees. No, unless they are not lucky like Mission. How much shooting has there been? At first, very much. Later, not so much. But if the Jap ship sends out a search party for them... Yes. We must remove ourselves from this place immediately. Excuse me. First, we are removing Jap sniper. You... you know where him be? No, but somewhere in those trees. Yeah, it looks like a good spot for the old hat trick. Here, I'll put mine over the barrel of this Tommy gun. Well, raise it above the top of the sand. Let's just cinch his gun in. Let's just cinch his gun isn't empty. Could you spot where he is? Think so, Twan. You give me Tommy gun. 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 That baby's got a kick to it, Colo. Hey. That baby's got a kick to it, Colo. Hey. That baby's got a kick over the barrel of this Tommy gun. Did yeah. Good thing my head wasn't in it, huh? Go ahead, Colo. Oh, boy, he must be hopping around them trees like a monkey. Yeah, a monkey with no tail. Sing. And you mean that? What? You mean the hand grenades? Yeah, it looks like the only answer. Oh, but our own men may be close enough to be hit. Misha's finding out. We got set of signals, right? You sure that tree you were aiming at is where he is, Colo? That be where his shot's coming from, Tuan Jim. Okay. I'll pitch this grenade up on the branches of it. Now, keep down now. There goes the firing pin. Now, one, two, three, four. Okay! Hey, I can see him. He's trying to hang on. He's hit. Look, he's hit. He'll be going to shoot. Ha <laughs> ha! Good, good. No. No, it's all through. Come on. It wasn't before. That fall to the ground certainly finished him. Be well, my friends. You know the Japanese as well as I do. Yeah, keep that Tommy gun handy, Kolo. Singh may be right. Yeah, Singh is wrong. Look, he's dead like that, Nelsie. Yeah. yeah. You're right, he's dead all right. Hey, look, he had enough ammunition to hold out all day. No, this is interesting. What is it, Singh? It was in the dispatch case over his shoulder. Uh, it is an executive order to one Major Nemozzo. In a court, we have broken down. What's it say? Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 bring Yankee Flyer Colonel Weir by return boat with all haste. It is signed, Lieutenant Commander Itsuyoki. Jim! Jim, did you hear that? Why, the dirty... They've captured Shorty Weir. You'll find still other adventures with Jungle Jim in the Comic Weekly this Sunday. Yes, and Flash Gordon, too, and the Lone Ranger, Prince Valiant, King of the Royal Mounted, the Phantom, over two dozen of them. Everyone a top-notch favorite, everyone guaranteed to bring you thrills, excitement, and suspense. So get the Comic Weekly habit. It comes to you with 15 of the leading Sunday papers all over America. Ask for the Sunday paper in this city that contains the Comic Weekly. We'll be back next week with another radio adventure starring Jungle Jim. Yeah.